which splits the entire distribution in two equal halves. So Xn is medium. If probability of x below this medium is equal to the probability of x above this medium, and it's equal to one half. With the cumulative function, the cumulative function of the media of the median is the integral from negative infinity to the median of the probability density function is equal to exactly one half. Median is one of the uh, one of the characteristics of the distribution. Another characteristic of the distribution is the expected value. Negative 0.01 and 
principal real is the one half and positive point from one with real is one half. And another variable is something like negative 100 and 100, also with the same probabilities. So basically both, uh, if you, if you uh, substitute this into the formula for the expected values, you will see that the expected values of x is equal to expected value of y and is equal to 0. However, we tell that this variable is more volatile than this one. So the deviation on this variable is much greater than this one. So if, for example, those two variables, they constitute the lottery, and in which uh, in this lottery, uh, for example, we toss a coin and you either lost one to pay or gain one for the so here you can pick a lost one and one hundred goodness or gain one hundred goodness. Uh, if you are risk averse, you'll probably get into this lottery. If you are risk lover, you will get probably get into this lottery. So those kind of experiments can help you can help economists understand uh, what is the risk type you are. But here, uh, since we have to measure, uh, since we have to measure this variation somehow, uh, somehow, since we have to measure this volatility, this volatility is measured using the formula for the variance and the formula of the following. We define some random variable, for example, theta, and this random variable is going to be x i minus e of x, this is theta i. So xi is uh, our outcomes, and e of x is the expected value. So this is also a random variable. This random variable also has some kind of a distribution. We know the probability of this random variable as well. Since this one is given the probability density function for this random variable, is equal to the probability density function of this random variable. So probability mass function of theta i is the same as for x one. This is the same. And if you know this fact, then we can calculate variance of x. Basically, at the square, uh, the square expected value of this variable. This is how we calculate this formula for uh, for the discrete case. Or this is the integral over omega of x minus e of x x if you have the uh, if you can have the continuous case. general, it would be nice if you also read something about uh, the most standard distributions such as normal distribution, student distribution, Bernoulli distribution, all those different cases. Uh, this is not going to be on the entrance exam, but uh, if you get many pass for the exams, uh, this material will help you a lot during the first couple of weeks. Because this entire material uh, is going, uh, will going, uh, will going over this material again during the first two three weeks of the course in the course of statistics and econometrics. But if you already know something about uh, normal distribution, this will help you tremendously to get through the course. Are there any questions? Constraints, pains.